Hello, this is Patrick Wolf, and today I'm going to take you through a quick five minute installation of CloudBeast Core on GKE from the GCP Marketplace. So I'm going to navigate to Kubernetes apps within the Marketplace, find CloudBeast Core, and then click on Configure here to configure a few fields that I need to put um, to configure my uh, Kubernetes stack and my in, uh, namespace for uh, installing CloudBeast Core. So the first thing I want to do is choose my cluster. Um, I can either choose an existing cluster or I can create a new cluster to install uh, CloudBeast Core onto. In this case, if I create um, a new cluster, it's going to be a bare minimum cluster, but it is going to be able to support CloudBeast Core. Um, as you can see on the right hand side, all of the documentation is available to me, my installation guide, my reference architecture, um, and how to administer CloudBeast Core once it's up and running. All that information is there if I want to click on that and peruse while my uh, cluster is being created. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose the default namespace. I'm not going to actually create a different namespace for that. And I'm going to call this CloudBeast Core Demo just for the purpose of this. Um, so the first thing, I, uh, ne next thing I have to do is actually create a service account. Um, so if I click on create this in Cloud Shell, I can just hit enter. The, uh, the command is already pre-filled in there for me. I don't have to do anything else. And this creates a service account. And that service account is going to be used for launching Jenkins Master, setting up my Ingress controller, everything I need to do under the covers to make this um, all happen. The next thing is to actually add an SSD storage class. Um, and this is going to make the performance much better having SSD under the covers. Again, go into Cloud Shell hit enter, the command is pre-populated, don't have to do anything else, um, and set that up um, for me. So once that's all done, I hit deploy, and I'm launching into installing CloudBeast Core on my newly created cluster in the default namespace there. Um, so as this is taking and, and adding the ingress controller, putting the containers out there and launching everything and configuring core for me. Um, it's going to walk through that and then all of a sudden I've got CloudBeast Core um, fully installed and ready to go on Kubernetes. You can see everything um, came out okay. I just quick the status real quick of everything going on. And now I need to do one or two more real quick steps just to make sure everything is working correctly and get access to that. The first is I'm going to copy this kubectl command. Um, going back into my cloud shell again, and this time it's not going to pre-populate, but I'm going to paste this in that I just copied. Um, and what this gives me is the IP address, or actually the domain, for how to access my CloudBees core cluster um, for this. And this is going through the ingress controller to get into that. So once I've copied my domain, I got that ready to go. I'm also going to copy this next command um, out of the kubectl command and put this into my cloud shell as well. Um, and this command is going to give me the default system password for Jenkins the first time it runs. Um, if you're familiar with Jenkins, every time it starts up, it needs to have a system password to get into it. As of Jenkins 2, it no longer just lets you into the um, system to do that. Um, so I'm going to paste my URL in here, um, and you can see I'm coming up on a um, SSL connection, and this is a self-signed certificate that is created for you um, when you launch this. You can actually go back and change this um, from the um, installation guide if you want to. Um, there are instructions on how to update that SSL certificate and the domain if you have a DNS record and a, or a CNAME ready to go um, for CloudBeast Core. If you don't, you can actually put that in. Um, so I'm just going to go in and I clicked on free trial here and this is going to be a very quick trial, um, just a few days um, to get access to this. If you want to run it for a longer term, you need to contact CloudBeast Sales and get an actual evaluation license or purchase a real license um, for running CloudBeast Core on GKE. Um, so I'm going to accept the license agreement after I put in my information. Um, and the next screen is going to take me to my setup for setting up Jenkins plugins. And in this case, I'm just going to choose the recommended plugins for my operations center, um, install these plugins very quickly. Um, and normally I would be ready to go here, but there is an incremental upgrade available right now. And this is going to upgrade the plugins that are available to me in my CloudBees Assurance Program or CAP um, that are going to be the ones that are certified to work with this version of CloudBees Jenkins um, and CloudBees Core. So my next thing is to add a username. So I'm creating my first user, just admin in this case, using the same password as before. Um, and once that's done, I'm going to restart Operations Center. Normally, I don't have to restart Operations Center, but because I did upgrade my plugins, I need to install it again, or sorry, to restart my machine um, just to have that up and running. And then it comes back, and now you can see I'm up and running. Um, CloudBeast Core is in. I do need to log in again because it restarted using the password and the username that I just created. Um, but once that's done, I've got CloudBeast Operations Center fully up and running, and CloudBeast Core is ready to go. 
Um, and as you can see, as I click on my teams, I can actually start creating teams. Um, and within CloudBeast Core, when I create a team, that actually creates a new master, and that master is specific to that team. So within five minutes, I've got CloudBeast Core up and running here on G uh, Google Kubernetes engine, and I'm ready to start adding my teams to that. Uh, if you'd like to know more, please come visit us at cloudbeast.com. Thanks for watching.